So a little bit more about the effects of exercise. I talked about the muscle fiber types. This is gonna to relate to that because exercise can change our muscles um, and either make them grow bigger. So hyper, um, hypertrophy or change in muscle fiber composition or a lack of exercise can make them atrophy or get smaller. Um, so the effects of exercise are um, primarily on the size of a muscle fiber. So if we think about um, a muscle fiber being a long cylindrical thing, if we are would, were to exercise and grow those muscles, opposed to more muscle fibers growing, it um, appears that the main factor that changes is the muscle fiber size. It actually gets larger. And this could be drew, due to either like more frequency of stimulation, higher tension, um, or fatigue over time that conditions our muscles. So, and then this depends on what type of exercise you're doing. So with aerobic exercise, you probably could think about what you think would happen. Um, you'd have increased capillaries going to your muscles because that blood is needed. That blood that contains oxygen and removes carbon dioxide. Um, you're going to have increased mitochondria in the cells that are being exercised. It's not how you spell mite. So this is like a supply and demand thing, right? Um, if I start running longer distances um, and going to fatigue all the time, my muscles are going to adapt by actually having mitochondria replicate more inside my cells. Myoglobin, it's a protein that can be produced in larger quantities. And these changes I'm talking about um, are happening in slow oxidative fibers but we also can convert glyco glycolytic fibers to oxidative. So this really would, you know, it's a spectrum of fiber types anyways. Um, it could be all fiber types that this happens in to some extent. Um, so this is happening, the most is going to be in slow oxidative, are going to really adapt, right, to this, these demands. But again, we also have conversion of um, fast, like a glycolytic, to first to fast oxidative. And then really, you know, as they adapt more, they would become more and more slow adapted, adaptive, or put oxidative and slower, right? Um, so that would be aerobic training. Something more anaerobic, anaerobically training, like for example, resistance training would basically, like I said already, when you have muscle growth, it's going to be the muscle fiber itself growing larger. So this is called hypertrophy, the opposite of atrophy that happens in um, you know people who can't exercise. Maybe they're old or sick or on a spaceship. Um, so these individuals would have increased size of the fibers, especially fast glycolytic and a high fast glycolytic ratio. So I do have an image to kind of show this. Um, so here would be with exercise training, the muscle actually gets bigger, you know, you can bulk up. Um, and this is actually the muscle cell. So this is right, this whole thing is one cell with many nuclei. And as that cell is damaged, there are satellite cells um, that help repair that. And when they repair, they're repairing it and adding tissue. So this is that hypertrophy that's happening here. We'll do that one cell. Um, the other thing then is a high, fast glycolytic fiber ratio compared to slow oxidative. And, and again, that's all dynamic as you exercise more or less and do different types of exercise. 
Okay. Learning check for you here. <laughs> 